there also came a point where you say, look, you have to just take the leap and do something. The more you think, the longer it's going to take, the harder it becomes for you to make a decision. Okay guys, it's Dr. Ryan, and today we're gonna to talk with one of my patients about his experience with Suma Up. Neil, why don't you go ahead and start? Why don't you tell us a little bit, a little bit about yourself, where you're from, what exactly you do, and some of your hobbies. All right, so I, my name is Neil. I'm a dentist anesthesiologist, and I see kids in dental offices every day who need treatment under general anesthesia. So that's what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I live in Southern California, originally from the island of Barbados, actually. I've been doing CrossFit for a number of years now, so going to the gym and working out is really a hobby for me. I'm kind of curious as what your situation was like prior to starting with Sumo Up. In other words, what were some of the problems that you were trying to solve? And I'm asking in terms of these problems specifically in terms of your business, perhaps, your family dynamics, your energy levels, motivation, mood. Uh, any physical symptoms you have? Like, what were you trying to, to fix, so to speak? The easiest one would be health-wise. I mean, I've always been pretty healthy, but as business got a little bit busier, it was hard to be able to dial in the way I used to before. And not only that, as you get older, the effort you have to put in to be where you want to be physically, mentally, the, it, you know, it takes a lot a lot more effort. I was really trying to get more sleep, for example, get rid of some brain fog I was having, and, and just overall try to organize and, and get better at structuring my business and trying to make that grow and take off and stuff like that. It was becoming much harder to put all those pieces together, doing the things that I was accustomed doing before. You have to, to be able to have all aspects of your life kind of line up and come together. They may not be perfect, but they should be going in a similar direction, I feel. And at that point, I feel like, you know, it wasn't working very well for me. I've always had a great memory. I was always good at remembering a lot of concepts really easily. I can just read it one time and I would remember. There's no need for me to, but I found myself the last number of years having to read and reread stuff to make it stick. You know, it was really hard to do so. And I, that, that, that was frustrating for me because that had never happened to me before. It was really easy for me to do that. The other thing that was easy is that it was easy for me to, once I got in the gym and I was consistent for at least two, three weeks, results would happen, you know, just at a snap of a finger. It was not much effort to do all those things. For me, if if my if I feel like, you know, I'm not clicking on all cylinders as I used to before, all of a sudden that translates, you get a little depressed, anxious, and that translates into everything else, right? So everything else is affected, business, which for me it was. It was just, you know, just not uncertain. It's just not the same as it used to be. You know, I'm a person who's very decisive and, what, and all of that just went by the wayside for me. So I think one aspect impacted the other and it kind of just snowballed from there. Yeah, and in a business like yourself, you're essentially selling yourself. You're a highly competent dental anesthesiologist and and you uh, provide competent care to, to many different clinics in the area. Correct. You know, not having high energy levels, not having confidence in, in what Correct. you do, obviously can can make a big uh, can be a big deterrent into to bringing in more practices, right? Absolutely, absolutely. That was actually the problem, right? Because you know, business was super slow. My skill level or the way how I treat the patients never declined. You know, because that's important to me. The children, you know, are important. So that that never took a hit. It was just my attitudes and whatnot. So once you, people can tell if you have a little dark cloud over you, you know, when you walk. So it's kind of more like an energy, right? So if you don't have that, it, people feel it. As much as you try, people feel that. And then for me, work is on referral, right? So if people get along with me really well, they, they like my energy, they like the way how I, I um, treat patients and those types of things, then they'll refer you. But if they feel like you're kind of yeah, he's good, but you know, he's, you know, he seems energy seems a little bit off. It's not maybe not as friendly. Then you you know you kind of shoot yourself in the foot there. 
Yeah, I can I can totally see that. Given the fact that you were in that current state, and whenever I talk to to new clients, new patients in the clinic, I always try to ascertain their ideal performance state, a state that primarily is comprised of a, of a mental and physical state that allows them to succeed, allows them to reach their goals. And whereas your state, yeah, as you'd mentioned, you had an idea of where you wanted to go to be a very successful general anesthesiologist, to be able to go to CrossFit sessions and get the results you wanted, to basically have the mood and the drive that you did in your 20s and 30s, and you recognize it wasn't there it takes some time to finally be like hey i need to do something right 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 was there was there like an inciting event that that kind of pushed you over the edge that made you say hey okay enough's enough right i i can't live like this anymore i mean it was just not one thing i mean because Mm -hmm. all along once i realized that i was not my full self i was searching right looking for answers looking to see if there's anything that could help me was there any doctors or therapists or anybody who may be able to understand exactly what was going on and would be able to help you know one day just woke up went to crossfit as i usually go that you know that's was fun for me but i you know i'd been doing it for a while and i was seeing some progress but it was going super slow Mm. And, you know, I came back and I was said to myself, man, I mean, like, I got to figure out what's going on. I, I, I hadn't been to the doctor in a long time. I just kind of avoided that. I don't know. I guess sometimes it's, you figure if you ignore it, it'll just go away. <laughs> but it didn't go away. So I said, I, I'm just going to have to find a comprehensive solution. See if there's anybody who could understand what I'm going through and we'll be able to kind of suggest how I can kind of break out of this a little bit. So my question to you, I guess now is how did, exactly did you find out about myself and, and Suma Up? What are some of the obstacles that, that that were in your place in terms of finding a, a doctor and a clinic that were right for you? Right. Well, uh, most of the places that I would have, that I would find would be out of state, for example, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. in person type situations that were out of state or somewhere in California that I could not readily get to or get to often enough to make it make sense. So I, I was searching for a long time and you know, I'd find places that would offer one thing but not the next. It, it was kind of like a hodgepodge of stuff. And, and for me, again, I was looking for a comprehensive solution. But as I was going through, I, I came across your platform and, you know, I just kept kept reading you know the landing pages and stuff and kept going through going through and realized oh this might actually work i'm assuming there's something on lines of an individual that is focused both on improving your physique improving your drive improving your hormones so hormonal optimization but right. also doing things to increase your runway and uh, increase your longevity. And uh, there are many clinics that do this, right? But, you know, it takes a, it takes a special provider, a special clinic to really look at the components of longevity that can really reduce your risk of developing Correct. heart disease, stroke, kidney disease, Correct. diabetes. Correct. Correct. Yeah, so, because, yeah, because, I mean, diabetes is on both sides of my family very strong. I think the only sibling on my mother's side, and there are nine of them, that mm-hmm. didn't have diabetes is her. Um, On my father's side, all the men had diabetes, including him, and they all died from complications of diabetes. So I was like, there's just no way (laughs) I'm not about to end up like that at all. Um, If it's one of the things that you could get that you don't want is that. It, that, because I, I know how it affects the body, you know, having studied all these things yeah. all my life. So it's just, just no way. I got to make sure that I do whatever I can to be able to avoid these things. Right. So things like minimizing glycation, decre- making sure your blood Correct. sugars are appropriate is going to be it's going to be very key. And Correct. insulin sensitivity is something that and I'm, I'm glad you kind of touched upon that, that we take very seriously. We try to keep your hemoglobin A1C under 5%. And, you know, when you do things like that, in addition to optimizing your hormones, reducing oxidation, reducing methylation, reducing inflammation, you really can prolong life and and live in a way that you'd like to for as long as possible, which is, which is really right. awesome. Outside of the comprehensive approach and the knowledge base and uh, the commitment to helping you achieve your ideal performance state, was there something else about the clinic that kind of made you think hey this is the right choice for me 
Well, yeah, I, I guess, like I said, it, it addressed all the major points as I was going through the website. And then I saw that you were your own client, right? You <laughs> you were like kind of like the poster person for the business as well. You So whatever it is you were advertising, it was because you were also somebody who had challenges and had gone through it as well. So I said, you know what? This looks, this looks legit because there's always something, right? But I said, this looks legit. I, I, again, I spent a long time making sure before I reached out because I, I, I read up and kept looking, looked at some of the videos that you had to, to kind of listen to you and figure out if you are trustworthy. Because that's a big deal for me. If I, if I feel like you're not trustworthy and it's kind of scammy, I, it just doesn't bother. I, I, I don't move forward. So I, I have to trust because for me, I'm like, look, I've tried a bunch of different things and, you know, they don't work or work well. And at this point, I'm not trying to make another huge mistake. So I'm going to take my time and try to figure out and listen to this guy to see if what he is saying makes sense to me. I'm glad that you, you mentioned that. I, I think when, we, when we're trying to make a purchase for anything, a service or a product, knowing about the product, understanding what it can do for you, liking the company or the individual you're working with and most importantly trusting that that person or that product is going to take you from point a to point b is so important so let's kind of switch gears a little bit and talk a little a uh, little bit about the changes that you experienced after you joined okay and let's okay. we're going to focus on a couple of different areas the first area is going to be your body and your overall health and i'd like you to just take you know a minute or two and just think about some of the things that you experienced after being a patient and 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 you felt that were very positive very helpful to you okay so i think the first thing is is that it was important to achieve a baseline and you know you're a physician so obviously that makes sense that's what we have to do right so you had gone through my blood work and those types of things it was obvious that there were things that were off and I guess intuitively I knew that, but actually just seeing it, so okay, yeah, clearly there's a problem. It's good that I found somewhere who's gonna address all of these things for me at once without me having to go to this person and that person. For me, it was clear that there was an issue, right? So after you gave me the playbook and how to go through fixing and, and reversing some of these things and setting me up to, you know, for something even better. I mean, one of the first things I noticed is that I was able to sleep better, mm. right? So I I could drop sleep and fall asleep deeply. My body started to change and look better. Once I started seeing that, it motivated me to push even harder while I was at the gym. My body was more defined because the hormones were optimized now. It, it wasn't before. Obviously, lost weight. My physique was more chiseled, more defined. It never looked like that before, right? In, a, in even my healthiest of times, I never looked the way I did. People half my age at the gym couldn't really keep up with me. That just turned everything around for me. All of a sudden, I just had more motivation, more, I had a more of a optimistic outlook. So because I felt good, I acted like I felt good and started paying closer attention to how I put myself together, how I put my equipment and everything. I, it just changed the way how I thought about everything. All of a sudden, I, now I'm super busy at work. I just don't even have much time to do anything. I mean, my schedule is booked out for a year. Prior to that, I could throw stones at, at my schedule and not hit anything, right? But now, I am I'm booked up a whole year in advance. Offices really enjoy having me there. And and that's the thing. That's why I keep going back is because, you know, they like how I approach things and I get along well with people. I, I mean, as you touched upon, your your physique makes a big, a big change. And it appears you've always had a strong self-image. But for a lot of my patients, the way in which they they look uh, can can, you know, work, work to the detriment of their self-image. And you've told me this in some of our appointments, a lot of uh, 
your colleagues have commented on Correct. how much yes, you look yes. and how much leaner yep, you look yep, and yep, your energy yep. states. And, um, you know, without doing too much of a deep dive in your lab values, I'm really happy with a lot of your hormonal uh, levels. If we've optimized your test levels, your IGF-1 levels, your thyroid levels, and we've really reduced, as you had mentioned, you're very concerned about your risks about developing diabetes, but your Correct. last hemoglobin A1C was phenomenal. It was right Correct. at 5%, which is really, Correct. really good. I'm really Really very proud of uh, the changes you made and I mean to be honest you know I'm just a small component of it maybe a little bit of guidance here but really the fact that you've done the hard work to change yourself and get to that ideal performance state is is a testament to to your drive and, and your your motivation to be the very best, which is which is awesome. I do want to touch a little bit about the changes uh, you saw in your career. You kind of did talk about how you were a little more efficient, perhaps, in your setups for yeah. getting yeah. ready for your um, yes. your dental clinics. Can you tell me a little more about that? Yeah. So I, again, once you start feeling good, it just prompts you now to make everything feel and look good. I analyze my business from top to bottom. I, I'm always, I've always been that person who's looking for efficiency. I'm good at operations, at understanding how things can function. And because I've, I'm always looking to improve, I'm not saying, oh, my system is working fantastic. There's no room for improvement. I'm always looking at ways I can be more efficient. And it just prompted me to look at everything from top to bottom, make a lot of significant changes in the way how I was scheduling, how I was approaching offices and discussing with them how I would like things to go when I provide service to them and the, the, the confidence I had in my ability, which, you know, I knew I was good at what I did, but it never came through, I felt. Once I was pretty confident about, hey, listen, this is me, this is what I do, I'm good at what I do, and as a result, here are my fees, this is what I expect, this is how I run my business. People are like, oh, okay. Uh, you know, I was like, oh, wow, I should have done this a long time ago. Yeah, one of our uh, recent meetings, you had mentioned you get up at 4 a.m. most days. Uh huh. Yep, yep. And you're up there yep. and you're at it, and you've been accruing so many different contracts with uh, clinics across oh, the yeah. country. And oh, it's yeah. Just yeah, because really... I, yeah, I can't take any more business at this point, right? I can't, <laughs> That's amazing. Can't, yeah, I can't scale my, because I'm an individual provider, right? So I can't scale my self i would have to try to look to bring on somebody else and those type of different things right which is one of the things i'm looking to do um this year is to to, to find an associate to help take some of the extra work that i have that some of the work that i have to turn down there's nothing that i'm leaving on the table when i can work i work and maximize the days that I work. So let's talk a little bit about the changes. We went, uh, you gave me quite a bit of uh, great information about how it's changed your physique and your career, but what about the relationships that you have with your family or your friends or, and we kind of talked about your colleagues, but outside of work, what are some of the changes you've seen in those relationships? Yeah, so if you don't feel good about yourself and part of that is because you feel you don't look good and all those kind of things then your family notices right my mother my sister my partner you know my wife you know just notice these things and realize that this is not the Neil that we are custom knowing right you know you and i had a chance to chat and you were able to help me i mean like i said every time i go home my mother and my sister would be like wow you really really good and keep this up you know you're doing really well this looks you know and, and you know just the overall way i you know acted and behaved you know enjoyment you know it, it was just night and day the way how we you know interacted with each other and you know started talking about plans for the future and stuff and before I never, I never saw more than one day in front of me at a time, you know. For me, I get up every day looking forward to the future and that day I'm ready to go. Just making big plans for what I want in career-wise and how I want life to go. So I'm making some big moves this year to change a lot of the way how I practice and how I work. And for the most part, that's what it takes, right? You have the motivation to do something, you do something about it and you think optimistically about something and generally good stuff starts happening. Yeah, and, and I, I noticed that. It's just, I, I, 
for some reason i tend to attract a lot of highly educated talented you know motivated entrepreneurs and when you're trying to be successful it's always important this is i attribute this to stephen uh, stephen covey and seven laws of highly successful people but you always have to begin with the end in mind right you always want to you want to think about what that goal is but the problem is as we get as we get older and we get we don't have the energy levels and the focus and the concentration that end becomes not as bright as you want it to be right all right i'm doing all the things now like if i have a hundred years to live no longer am i like well you know i'm almost 50 and well this is what normally happens anyway no i was like no i it can't be that way yes there's an aging process and whatnot but it doesn't have to be that way right you, you there there are things that you can do once you have the information to be able to like i said live like you have a hundred more years to live so that's how i'm doing it you know and you know that that's really not that far from the truth to be honest uh there are a lot of experts in the anti-aging and longevity field that are convinced that limits of human uh, life might be extended significantly to 120 130 140 150 and the most and the key and most important thing is you'll have the opportunity to be vibrant within those years you're not going to be confined to you know a wheelchair or in your bed you be able to actually do the things you want for a much longer Correct. period so yeah. it's it's really that runway that's so important okay well we, we talked about a lot of different uh benefits your career your relationships your uh your physique you're just your general state were there any other benefits that um that we didn't mention that came with working with me just knowing that I have, you know, I can message you at any point and, mm -hmm. you know, you can, you get back to me with recommendations on stuff. So you can't find that, you know, like it's really hard to find somebody that you can have at your fingertips, so to speak, to be able to get the answers you want to certain things. And if I say, hey, doc, this is kind of what I've been thinking, you know, what kind of interventions you feel would work best and you always have a plan a b and c you know that we can take a look at and whatnot and i i, I like that I, I like having those options and that you know to be able to to reach you when i want you you know and it's true i mean it's like i said i will message you and you'll get back to me right away. I say, oh wow that's quick so i i'm really appreciative of those types of things you know yeah, accountability and accessibility are really key for the clinic, making yeah. sure that we're available when, when you need us. And and also we're accountable to your success, right? You give us the goals that you want to achieve and we will do our very, very best to to get you there. And I, I I think that's wonderful that that you that you talked about it. I'm 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 excited and I'm 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 very thankful to be in a position where I can advise individuals on a therapeutic plan of hormonal optimization, of even you know, breaking therapies with peptides, of supplementation, of diet and exercise advice that you know draws upon my background as a physician, but also as a physique competitor and a personal trainer. So it's it's All really right. a wonderful experience on both ends. Why don't we just uh, kind of sum up this interview with one last question? question what would you tell someone who is watching this now and is uncertain about joining the clinic okay so you know look i am a, a skeptic by nature that's my that's how i think you know i've spent a lot of time in grad school as well asking questions when i was working on my phd so it's in me to ask questions and be skeptical but they, they also came a point where you say, look, you have to just take the leap and do something. The more you think, the longer it's going to take, the harder it becomes for you to make a decision, the longer it goes on. And you get yourself to a point where, you know, you're so far gone that not that you can't be helped, but it, it will take a lot longer to be able to help provide some of the changes you're looking for. So why 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 stay on the fence, you know? So I would say to anybody who's thinking it over on the fence about, oh, should I do this or not? Take it from me. I don't spend my money um, loosely. I do not trust people very easily. And because of that, there are a lot of things that people offer that I don't take advantage of. But this is something that I did for sure because it, it checked all the boxes for me and i don't have an issue at all i i don't i'm trying to remember if 
if I for for the time that I've I've been with you guys, if there's ever been an issue that um I, I can't think of anything that bothered me or I had an issue with or nothing or anything that couldn't be quickly resolved. It, it, I mean, for me, and that's key, right? I, I want efficiency as well. I want people to be responsive and accountable. And this, you know, your, you know, sum up just kind of checked all those boxes. So anybody who's trying to decide, I, I think you, you found what you're looking for. This is what you do this is comprehensive top to bottom and you don't have to go looking at this other office and that to pull the pieces together you have everything on the one roof which is and then you're always adding stuff and and making recommendations and you know the 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 weekly calls and the information on various topics is important you know that's is a library available to well, all that stuff I, I mean there's no need for me to look anywhere to anybody else this is this is what i'm going to be doing for the foreseeable future yeah, and I'm glad you really touched upon that because, listen, we all have to be very careful with our cap capital allocation, right? And I prefer to think of it as we all invest, uh, we invest things or our capital or time, and we want to get a good return on that investment. And I'm, I'm really thankful that you felt the decision to to work with my, myself and the clinic, Suma Up, offered you a very good return on your investment. Right. Oh yeah, significant. Yeah, I, I yeah, this I yeah, I can't argue with that at all. Okay, well, Neil, that's that's pretty much all I had to ask today. I really appreciate okay. you taking your time today to to talk a little bit about your experience, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your your day and your weekend. Thank you. Thank you very much.